Let's quickly refresh the verbs of data science that we learned last week in class. The first verb we learned was select, which is what you use to select different columns based on a column name. If you only want back certain rows, you can use either the filter or the slice functions. Filter will give you back certain rows based on a criteria, whereas slice gives you back certain rows when you actually specify the row numbers. Mutate is the verb that we use to recode variables or define new variables. Summarize is useful for taking multiple rows of data and condensing it down to a single row, like a summary statistic. An example of this would be computing a mean or a median, or it would be counting the number of rows. And remember that if you first use group by and then summarize, you actually get back one row per group. So if the group by variable has three options or three categories, you'll get back three, col uh, three rows in the data frame when you do group by followed by summarize. Arranging is a useful way of sorting the data. And we said that we would revisit joins in week three, which is today. Uh, and so we'll get to that later in this lecture. You may recall from the last class, but the key difference between mutate and summarize is that mutate returns the same number of rows as was passed into it, whereas summarize returns only one row. So an example of functions that work with mutate include things like basic math, where you kind of are adding multiple columns to do a calculation such that the new column uh, has the same number of rows as the original data set. And summarize is commonly used to compute summary statistics, which are, for example, mean, median, min, max, or the number of rows. If you want to remember what are all the different functions that can work with mutate and summarize, the common ones are listed in the RStudio data transformation cheat sheet, which you can find online.